Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. In the previous two presentations, I briefly discussed stellar magnitudes, luminosity, color and apparent temperature, along with spectral classes. There is much more to learn on these topics for those who are interested, but for the purpose of this channel and for future discussions, everything is adequately presented in these two videos. Now we can combine the characteristics previously presented to produce a very important 2D plot known as the HR diagram. This diagram was named after the great astronomers Ejnar Hertzsprung and Henry Norris Russell who first proposed this scheme as you can learn in the links below. The theoretical HR diagram involves a plot of temperature against luminosity, whereas the observational HR diagram constitutes a plot of color versus magnitude. The HR diagram can be presented as you can see here, where luminosity is being related simultaneously to apparent temperature and to spectral class. When you make such a plot, you notice that the stars seem to gather in groups. The most important group is the main sequence of the stars, which is a band of stars extending from the upper left to the lower right. The stars on the upper left are large blue O-class objects, which are very bright. Conversely, the stars at the lower right of the main sequence are weak and red. As you move down along the main sequence, you encounter many of the well-known stars, including Achenar, Regulus, Sirius A, Altar, and our own star, the Sun. Eventually, you reach the reddest M-class stars, such as Proxima Centauri. Above the main sequence, one finds the giants and supergiants, including such famous stars as Beltagers and Regal. Next to these, we find the absolutely fascinating stars, the luminous blue variables. These stars are violent objects known to undergo dramatic changes in luminosity and capable of ejecting material from their interior. Finally, on the lower left-hand portion of the plot, we find the white dwarfs. These are stars of high mass and temperature but relatively low luminosity. Again, they are amongst the most fascinating stars in the sky, and we will return to these in a future video. For today, just remember the existence of the HR diagram and the manner in which stars arrange themselves in terms of luminosity and temperature or spectral type. We will return to this plot over the next few videos as we discuss the treatment of these stars in modern astronomy. Then a new outlook will be presented as a metallic hydrogen of the sun is extended to the stars. In closing, if you enjoyed the video today, promote the channel. Mention the video to your local astronomy club, support me with a like and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below and I'll see you soon on our next video.